Hi, uh, I was just looking through my old uh, CD wallet that we got out of storage and I just wanted to show you some of these uh, CDs that I have in here. They're a piece of my history, they're a piece of my taste in music and I will be using some of these songs from this CD wallet in some of my videos. Um, I'm listening to a mix CD that I made. I made three of them because at the time we had a truck that had a CD player in it. So I like to make them for road trips. We listen to them a lot. They're just random music from random people that I downloaded and burned to a disc. So anyway, I don't have much time. I'm going to get started. Uh, this is the first one. It's Every Color So Much for the Afterglow, which is one of my favorite CDs of all time. I got it when I was 15. Uh, it's my first, so this is my first CD that was like serious. I've, I've listened to that CD with so much, me and my cousins. Uh, this is an older CD from them, or newer, or whatever. Uh, this is uh, songs for Teenage Movie 2, Learning How to Smile. And that's good. It's not as good, but it's it's decent, you know. Um, this is Prozac. Wait, whoop. Mm, reversing it. Prozac. I, I don't remember the title of it, quite honestly. Self-titled, perhaps. Blink-182, Enema of the State. Uh, this is pretty good. I think the newer, the uh, later... Indie music is probably better, more punk. Um, I got it with a. Uh, this is a CD that I burnt. Ever, Everclear miscellaneous CD. Oh, see. Um, it's just random songs by them. And this lovely graphic. I'll take it out. This lovely graphic is. Uh, Devil without a cause. Uh, Chris Rock. I actually like that CD. It's very good. Especially if you are just into like old school rock, like just I don't give a shit. Fuck authority and that kind of stuff. It's pretty good. And this is Hooray for Boobies. Well, I'm not joking. It says on there Around the Rim. Around the Rim. rim it says Attention, insert tongue and circular opening to simulate nipple. Stimulate it. Um, everyone should have, actually have this CD. It's really well written. It's very funny. Um, and then this is an older CD. And everyone should own have Defined 2, which I don't have in here. Blood Hand Gang, um, One First Boot Coaster. It's an older one by them. It's late. Or it's about the mid-90s. Everyone should have that CD as well. And this is the tr truck mix. This is the other one that I made. I made three of them. Truck mix three. The saga continues down, but it's cartoon effects. I got it like at the grocery store. I begged and begged to get it. I listened to it a couple times, and then I didn't. I might have just didn't know I was going to use it for YouTube one day. It's just babies crying, burping, vomiting, uh, any kind of sound effects you need. Planes crashing, the amusement park. Uh, filter, you've listened to the, their music before in my cooking video when I was cooking the tacos, the soft taco bake. Title of record, everyone should own this, it's brilliant. And then this is Agama. Uh, they're not together anymore. Yeah, it's fairly good, it's not equally as good, but this is brilliant, everyone should have a copy. Word out, even worse. I was a typical um, little 11, 12 year old. That got into workout and I just I listen to him still, but I'm not as crazy about it. He went to the Yakima County Fair and I could not get a ride and I was so bummed this last September. Um, I want to see him one day live though. It rock my socks off. If anyone lives in this area will give me a ride next time, I would be obliged. Uh, this is Bed Hair Day, everyone should go on that one. Uh, this is Sugar Ray Floored, um, 
Fly is the only, uh, like, it's the radio single, and then all of them are just lewd rock music, which is, I like it, I don't mind it. Limp Bizkit, um, chocolate, starfish, and hot dog flavored water. It's pretty good. It's one of those you don't, just don't take it seriously. It's a good tune to just rock out to. Um, Rachel knows all about that. Um, I also have Significant Other, and I have all their other music. It's one of my guilty pleasures. I just don't take them seriously, and I just rock out with them. Um, 311, uh, Transistor. Uh, System of the Down Talk. Wait, is this Toxicity? Everyone should own the, this one and all the other stuff that they are. They're brilliant. Land and Beyond and Build. Um, I'm going to use a lot of your music um, within the next month in my videos. I want to do kind of just like a CD review. Hell, I might write that on my blog. That's a good idea. But it's one of my favorite CDs that I own. Um, it's Veal. It's very, it's like Alanis Morissette. Uh, Tori, Tori Amos type of music, but it's very thought-provoking. Uh, Tenacious D Tribute. I can't tell you how many times I've played that CD. Brilliant. Well, it's not brilliant, but it's very good. Uh, Sublime. I've probably not been any of their other CDs. They talk about drugs a lot, and I'm just not into that. So Dead Blind. Um, if you want to have the CD, it's pretty good. It's well written. You know, it's not as good as Lee Andrioni, but it's pretty good. It's subtitled. It has um, some retarded life on it. It's the one mainstream CD. Uh, moving on. Garbage, subtitled, I think. It's good. I feel like that kind of music. It's Shell Crow, subtitled. Very good. Uh, Simpsons, Singing the Blues. I got the cassette when I was 10 years old. Okay? He trained at the time. Um, I then I got the CD afterwards. It was like five or six dollars, and I had to just had to get it because I had to get the CD too. Uh, Simpsons, yes, it, it looks like a donut. Hardy har har. Joan Arden, Jan Arden. Oh crap, Jan Arden. She was one hit wonder. She made that one song, uh, Irreplaceable or something like that. I honestly forgot what it's called, but. I just, I got it, it's one of those CDs, you liked one single, you got it, and then you didn't like it after the awards. Um, this is, uh, this is a bunch of a local radio station CDs, um, I wanted to get these before Christmas because they have Christmas songs on them that I like. Um, they released this CD, anyone in Portland would know all about that, um, that Ellen DeGeneres did a joke on the Grammys and then they made a song out of it. Real Big Fish is good for a ska band. It's vulgar, it's vulgar but it's good. Metallica, uh, Melissa Etheridge, Dirty Little Secret. This said it had Wardell on it so I wanted it. It was from Sam Goody and the mall so it's like six dollars. I listened to it once. It was poker music. Uh, this is a free CD that I got. This is a free CD that I got. Uh, Spanish legends, which I'm going to make a video out of. Uh, somebody was testing, they just got a CD burner, and they were testing it. And they gave that one to me. This was lid. This was like in a, a theater. I think fast food joints do it too. It was a tiny CD that came in. It came with like three songs and a picture or two if you put it on your computer. And it came in the lid and I, my friend threw his away because he's not into music that much and I saved it. It was, I spent a month in California <laughs> as a series of videos all together. And this is Eve 6 hor Horoscope. No doubt, Tragic Kingdom, a good uh, snapshot of the 90s. Um, Nirvana and Utero. This is a CD that I burned to Jody, Eminem Encore, and Eminem, the Eminem Show. I have time, and it's all for you. So anyway, this isn't all the CDs I have, but it's most of them.